What up, what up, what up? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jess, welcome back to another. Or actually, I think this is my first. Welcome to my first NFL Madden 25 team play. You see, I'm on the left. Got a couple of uh, viewers. This happened during a live stream. Going up against a couple of viewers on the right. Excuse me, on the PS4. Now, I am QB of the team, but more importantly, you see me as your defensive back. GS Island is in effect. I completely neutralize that entire right side of the field. Don't even look towards the right side of the field, guys. Don't worry. There's going to be no action whatsoever. Everybody passes towards the left because GS Island is for real. So, you know, me, me, and the four right here with Tony Romo. I back up, you know, and, and nobody's open there. We're running unorganized routes. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. That, that, that's the problem. We're running unorganized routes. So, it's like, you know what? Let's start off with a quick little screen. And my homeboy, my team, Tiger, he hit him with the Tiger. He actually knew how to, how to hit him with that stiffy. Now, I heard it's been, it's uh, not allowed anymore, but when we played this game, it was. So, uh, here we go, man. Second down, and and I'm, I'm looking to try to find somebody open, man. And just a really quick, incomplete pass. And then, like, you know, let's go to the PA. And I look at the find my boy Prospect right over the top because we throwing dots. Look at Tony Romo throwing dots. Tony Romo doesn't really throw dots like that, but when he's controlled by GS, he throws dots. That's what I do, people. Now, here we go. Well, obviously, everybody wants to see, right? This is why everybody clicked on this video like, oh, team play from GS. Let me let me see GS Island real quick. That is me. with car on the right side? Look at me locking things up. Look at me. Okay, see, that was a run. See, what had happened was the way my pass defense is set up is that I, I go and I don't pay attention to the run. That's 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 how everything rolls. So they caught us off guard with a little runny run. I, I give them that. I give them that. Then right here they go to a read option now. Uh, that right there I must say is is boring and not fun in team play. <laughs> Uh, obviously, we're going. I think one of their guys disconnected, but they still had two users. And uh, he went ahead and as we hold him to a field goal, he did the read option <coughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. And to me, that's just no fun. You know, the fun is trying to give the ball to the other players. You know, you're the QB. Look at me setting pancakes over there on the left. Look at me blocking right there with the magenta right there. Okay, okay, listen, I'm missing, I'm diving. I'm trying, people, I'm trying. But like I said, the other team, they was doing a, a lot of read options. And to me, that's just. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's no fun. Fun part is, you know, make, trying to pass to your teammate. Just like that. I'm telling you, I'm throwing dots out here, son. Dots. You know, rarely do I throw to the computer. You know, uh, I'm trying to give the ball to uh, my teammates as much as possible. Now, here we go. Watch the right side of the field and notice it's, it's a ziplock over there, folks. Look. Look at me in that yellow covering like four receivers. See, he got sacked because he peeked to the right. That was the problem. He did a little peeky peek. Oh, there he goes. Throw it to the right side. Okay, see what happened was I thought it was going to be a run. So I kind of came forward a little bit. Kind of came forward. All right, so we gave up one measly little pass. You know what I'm saying? The, the right side is completely locked down. It's a ziplock over there. Nobody's open. GS Island is for real. Look at me missing the press. That was a fake miss, miss press. Right there, we get a user interception. And right there, he good. Go. Oh, the yeah. He takes him for a pick six. Now, you, you know why that happened, folks? Because he can't throw to the right side. So it's obvious where he's going to go. It's either in the middle or towards the left. Since the right side is clickety clank clank locked down, there's nowhere else for him to go. So I, theoretically, I caused the interception. So technically, it was because of me. He threw it into coverage because he knew that right side was not going to be open because. GS Island's over there. So, you know, technically, I got one interception over there. Look, again, another sack by me because I pressed the receiver on the right. He peeked towards the right, and that's what happens when you peek towards my side. It ain't going to work. It's Ziploc City over there. I got you in a box in a bag. Look at me pressing a little. You think he's on? See, right there, what happened was I, I released him to the safety. See, I knew I had inside uh, position. So, uh, actually, I had outside position. I gave him to the inside. I released him to the safety, and the safety didn't do anything. There's nothing I can do about that. That right there is perfect play calling. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. I, you know, I pressed him. I gave I gave him up to the safety, thinking the safety was going to make a play. He did absolutely nothing. He failed me. So, now I know I ain't got no safety. Up. Look at that right side, though. What happens is he threw to the left again into coverage, and, and that's just a no-no. You know what I'm saying? He, he thought he could squeeze in a pass. And that's just what happens when you play up against GS Island. That right side is completely locked down. So right here, we have a couple timeouts, man, trying to go on ahead and get and maybe field goal position or something. Right here. As you see, I, I'm throwing dots because that's just what I do, people. Right here, you know, he should have went out of bounds, but he wanted to stiff arm some people. So we wasted our last timeout. And right here, just a bonehead play by me. Uh, obviously, I need to hit the sidelines, but for whatever reason, I throw right up the middle knowing we don't have any timeouts. So not a 
Not a good call by me. But uh, here we go back again on defense, man, and just notice the right side not being thrown to. Again, here he goes with the read option. He called that play like 15 times. And even during the stream, I was like, yo, that can't be fun for the other player. You know what I mean? Like, if I was just calling a bunch of read options, <laughs> I know my teammates would be like, yo, what are you doing? Can we get the ball, please? Can we get the ball? This ain't fun. <laughs> but I guess, you know, he's doing what he got to do. You know what I mean? Maybe he doesn't trust his teammate too much. But, again, another sack by me because he peeked towards the right side. Right here, I did a YOLO blitz. I just blitzed. I left my guy completely unattended. And I frightened him. And he went ahead and just completely... Um, Gave in. So, uh, right there, again, I released him to the safety, man. No help whatsoever. The safety, just, I don't know what he was doing. He just trying to make me look bad. I'm telling you. I released him to the safety, y'all. I, I know it might have looked like my man because that little line that shows your defender was technically going all the way to me. So, it kind of looked like that was my guy. Look at me with these pancakes, though. Look at me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow, look at these pancakes. I'm saying. Okay, listen. I'm not saying no pancakes. I'm trying, though. I'm trying, though. Give me A for effort. Here we go, man. Try to throw dots. And he came screaming. I'm like, ah! <laughs> you came in, but that right there is a penalty. That right there is an infraction of the rules. You cannot hit a quarterback after. Oh, no, no, wrong penalty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pass interference. Pass interference. Either way, dang it, we moved the ball forward and got a first down. Either way. So, right here, we're throwing dots, man. That right there is actually to the computer. Nobody was open. So, uh, one of the few times you actually catch me throwing to the computer. Most of the time, I'm trying to look for a user player just like that. Look at that D bag, though. Look at Desertron going right over the middle. With the play right here, man, we try a quick little uh, draw. You know, don't want the running back to feel, you know, left out. So, you know, we're trying to sneak in a couple of run plays uh, right there. We don't pick up the first down. We, I went to it again, and it went nothing. Fourth and seven. We decided to go for it. We're looking. The running back was open over the middle, but he just, I don't know what kind of route that was. But here we go back again on defense and uh, more uh, read options. So 21 to 10. They still have a chance. You know, they can score. They have all of their timeouts. The game isn't over yet. Right there. This is what happens when you go towards the right side, son. Click, clack, lock down. It's GS silent for a reason. Right here, you actually see me bait somebody, man. Uh, right here, they get the first down. Actually came to the line of scrimmage. Left the guy on the right completely wide open. Thinking. I wanted to think he was wide open. You see, again, they throw to the left because the right side is completely not even an option it's not even an option so they know not to even look over there so i got i caused about four sacks and two interceptions mm -hmm, i did i sure did mm -hmm. if you look at the footage you'll see uh aaron Rodgers peeking over to the right he's like oh my god no he locked up in a box no he wasn't ready what do i do so he threw it to the left and uh that's what happened right there i'll take blame for that that right there's the one mistake i did I, I came in for a blitz and uh, I got messed up. Right here, you see me in coverage. Look what happens when he rolled to the right and he saw GS Silent over there. He got sacked. That's what happens. That's what happens when you try to touch GS Silent. Just don't do it. Right there, he throws to the left. I mean, how many times have he, has he thrown to the left? All game. Why? Because that right side is null and void. Right there. I'll take credit for that sack too. He definitely peeked towards the right. Right here, YOLO blitz. Look, I'm forcing bad passes. I'm forcing passes into triple coverage because the GS Island is for real. Right there, I definitely made a bad read. Thankfully, he wasn't punished by an interception. So, all right, we decided to go to the play action, man. And uh, we just roll out. We really didn't have enough time to find anybody open. So, uh, third and ten right here. Let's see if we can go ahead and move the chains. Try to catch him up. Go out with a little, little bit of a draw, but that goes absolutely nowhere. They call a timeout. So, for fun, we go for it. And, uh, yeah, yeah, he was open. But, again, he ran like a number nine in the middle of the field. I don't know what he was doing. Can't blame me on that. So, that's the interception on the receiver, not me. So, um, well, oh, we actually get a play to the right side. Fin finally, right? The YOLO blitz over there again. Every He should have been prepared because we know they're not throwing to the right, right? We know he's not throwing to the right. Look at this bait right here, though. Look at this bait. I'm at the line of scrimmage. Okay, this isn't It's coming up, yo. I promise. I promise. Look at look at the right side, though. Just click, clack, lock down, though. Lock down. Oh, here it is. Here it is. You think you open right? Get that weak shot out of here, son. That weak shot. This ain't basketball, but y'all know what I mean, man. Get that weak stuff out of here, man. You can't throw to the right side. When you think he's open, he's not. He may look open, but he's not open. I want you to think he's open. That way you think he's like, oh, my God, he's open. So he thought, then I come out of nowhere. I'm going to make a great play. But like, damn, I thought he was open. I guess what that's what GS Island is all about. You know what I'm saying? I hiked the ball. He looked completely wide open. So I threw it over there thinking he was wide open, but then GS came out of nowhere. That's what I do, people. GS Island. If we play team play, don't throw to the right side. It's just click, clack, lock down, zip, black bag. That's what I do, people. GS Island is for real, though. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, it was only like about three plays. About three plays to the right side the entire game. Everybody was catching interceptions. 
on the left side having an interception party. Why? Because GS, the best cornerback in team play, was on that right, locking everything down. So he had no choice but to go to the left. So you know what I'm saying? They should be thanking me. Player of the game, of course, me. I had about three interceptions. I forced about five sacks. I also threw for like seven intercept. I mean, uh, seven touchdowns. I, I I just did everything. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.